This Another Detroit is Happening multimedia tour is a culmination of a six-month community art investigation project. Ten of us Detroit summer lamp youth set out to uncover the other Detroit that exists beneath the surface of dominant media narratives and to tell stories of Detroiters who have been steadfastly building another world at the grassroots for decades. We use digital audio recorders, video cameras, and steel cameras to interview, video, and photograph 12 community organizations throughout the city. During the Allied Media Conference, we work with people from around the country to create collages from our photographs, then transfer the collages into giant silk screens. During the U.S. Social Forum, we created hundreds of prints and work with youth organizations from Seattle, Boston, New York, Chicago, and Baltimore, as well as local youth organizations to paint and we paste prints around the city. We originally set out to interview over 50 groups and people around the city, but due to limited time, we narrowed that list down to a dozen. The 12 groups or people that we interviewed are Blue Babies, Central Obrero, American Indian Health and Family Services, Nandi's Knowledge Cafe, the Ruth Ellis Center, Compass Community Cultural Center, the Detroit Coalition Against Police Brutality, Food Justice Task Force, the Di Digital Justice Coalition, 5E Hip Hop Gallery, Yusuf Shakur of the Urban Network, and Grace Lee Boggs of the Boggs Center to Nurture Community Leadership. Together, the incredible work of these 12 groups and hundreds of others that we didn't interview make up another Detroit that's happening beneath the surface of the city. Grace Lee Boggs is one of the founders of Detroit Summer. So the mural print you just saw featured her and many of us Detroit Summer Lamp participants in the midst of interviewing her and the other groups involved. One of the key principles of Detroit Summer is creating intergenerational community spaces where youth and elders can exchange ideas and lessons. We believe it not only takes a village to raise a child, but it also takes the youth to transform their community. The print you just saw was not just about our organization, but all about the groups and projects in the city that we believe have the power of youth leadership. The other mural print you just saw was a rally print which showcases images from the Hill Detroit rally that took place at Palmer Park in June. It was organized by a group of concerned community members along with the Coalition Against Police Brutality. A Yusef Shakur of Urban Network as a response to the murder of Ariana Jones by Detroit Police and Jerry and Blake by a man in the neighborhood. They put out a vision of ending both police violence and internal neighborhood violence. The only thing we all that was on me that was building was what we like to call the hot pot print. And it's basically a collage of all the pictures and concepts that we could have really fit in any of the other murals. Another mural print that you saw at the Ruth Ellis Center was the garden print. Detroit Summer started in 1992 and through a partnership with a group of elders called the Gardening Angels, we helped start and support dozens of gardens around the city. Now Detroit has over a thousand community gardens and small farms around the city. Many of the groups we spoke to saw gardening and healthy foods as a part of their work, even if they focused on other issues. One of the prints you saw at both Ruth Ellis and here was the dance, music, and culture print. Detroit has one of the richest creative movements in the world. This interview collage is about the amazing culture we have here in Detroit. The D print represents way more than a baseball team logo. It represents the pride Detroiters have for our city and the vision we are creating on a daily basis through projects like the ones we interviewed and the hundreds more we didn't get around to highlighting yet, but hope to in the future.